friends, students, teachers, graduates, please take a seat, everybody. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So it is my absolute pleasure and honor this afternoon to welcome all of you to San Ramon Valley High School. I just have a few brief words for our graduates. But first of all, I wanted to thank every single family member who's come out today, who's waited, who's found seats, because you're here to support your students on one of the most important days of their lives. So thank you, and students, would you please applaud and appreciate your family. <laughs> San Ramon Valley High School is a special and unique place because of our families, because of our students, our staff, and our parents. So. My gratitude goes out to every one of you for that, and my experience this year has been incredible. I have a few short words for the class, and if you were at baccalaureate, then this is the same sentiment I expressed last Sunday. Students, it is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light not our darkness that most frightens us, and we ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous, and special? My question is, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. It's not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people the right to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Those words hold special significance for you as you start your journey after today because everyone needs to embrace your future and take advantage of the opportunities presented to you. So again, it is my privilege and my honor today to watch as our graduates will walk across the stage and I would like to introduce Jacob Labombada as our first student speaker. Today is awkward. Today is unsettling and almost heartbreaking. Today is nerve-wracking and shockingly real. Yet all of these negative emotions seem latent under the layer of undeniable energy that blankets this field today. Yes, the undercurrent of apprehension and mixed emotions is most certainly present. But more certain than anything is the excitement over the future be it over college, over moving, over military service, we are collectively turning the page to a new chapter in our lives. Today is a big deal, no matter what tomorrow holds for us. You know, we have attended a fantastic school in an amazing area of the state, and that's something that I never want to take for granted. Because, well, we do that too much already. Think about it. The thought of graduating high school can be scary, no doubt. but. The thought of graduating high school without Facebook is downright terrifying. <laughs> because we're all going to miss each other, absolutely, but at least we've got Facebook to keep up with everyone's day-to-day -day lives. We've got Twitter for gossip and things that should probably be said in more than 140 characters. Uh, Instagram for pictures of landscapes and sepia tone food. <laughs> and we've also got Google Plus for... Um, Okay. Whatever it is that goes on Google Plus. <laughs> the point is, we live in a very, very connected world. A world far different from the one that these lovely people, our parents, grew up in. We're graduated with modern luxuries like microphones and podiums, while many of them were still churning their own butter. <laughs> I mean, just making it to school before cars existed must have been really tough, guys. So, really, kudos to you. But that's all irrelevant now because we're here at the end of a four-year journey that has just encompassed so much of the experience that has molded us and developed us into the proud collective of money vacuums you see here today. <laughs> money sucking aside, however, I think it's important to leave everyone here with a real sentiment on how I feel. It's been wonderful. Every single one of us is leaving here a different human being. Every single one of us is leaving here with new experiences, new outlooks, and new philosophies. We haven't just changed and grown with each other, we have changed and grown because of each other. All of our actions and decisions, good and bad, have meshed and intertwined, writing history. Not history for the books, but for ourselves. Every one of the graduate bodies here today is years upon years of work and dedication, of high points and low points, of shared grief and stress, of shared bliss and reward. 
to all those sharing in this next step with me today. I've shared four years with, seven years with, some the majority of my life with. And that's not a small thing. Not to me, not to us. The culture and experience of high school is past us now, but it's something that will always be there, guiding us in all that we do. In all paths that we walk, there is new and there is old. And I can tell you now that the old that we carry with us will make the pilgrimage through the new a lot more exciting. For every patch of darkness that we stumble into, we'll have a warm, comforting memory of light from these past four years. The future is different from here on out, we know that. But that leap into the new can be exciting and thrilling. And all that I hope for my fellow senior class of 2013 is that we keep that light by our side. Because yes, today is awkward, unsettling, heartbreaking, nerve-wracking, and more real than any of us know. But we have undergone a uniquely inspiring ideation here at SRV. The ideation of that light, always there, tucked away in the back of our minds, ready to help when we need it. I want nothing but the best for every last one of you. So wherever I end up, and wherever you end up, I want to be able to check Facebook, see that you're all doing just fine, and that you haven't let go of that light. Thank you.
thank yous, real quick, while we're all here and together. First one is up to the tech booth, because it's hot today, and they're being awesome, and sounds good, right? Sounds pretty good? And the second thank you is, um, I don't know if you guys have seen Grad Night yet, but it's pretty awesome, so for all you guys that help with Grad Night, we just want to say thank you. And here we go. Hello parents, teachers, staff members, family, faculty, and friends. I am Katie Lynchoni, and it is an honor to be speaking with all of you today. And of course, a very special hello to the great graduating class of 2013. Um, as I started to write my speech, I contemplated many ideas as to what my class would like to hear. A speech about time, a speech about how sad it is to leave San Ramon. But I soon realized that as much as these topics could easily connect to my fellow classmates and I today, I found that if I was really and truly going to connect with them, well, it had to be something great. For the past four years, my classmates and I have repetitively been referred to as the great class of 2013. But these past few weeks have given me the opportunity to think about that one word. Great. I question myself, why are we great? What have we done the past four years that gives us the right to even consider ourselves great? So I thought about it. Just a few of the great things that we've done. I thought about our boys being Monta Vista in the last two minutes of the football game on their turf. Yeah. I thought about our choir singing their hearts out at every show that they do. I thought about, yeah, come on choir, that's right. I thought about youth and government delegates taking over Sacramento. And I even thought about the two classmates of ours that streaked at our sophomore homecoming football game. And don't get me wrong, all of those moments are great. But the more I thought about it, I realized that no one ever said our greatness was signified by a single moment. Maybe a single action in time that proved our greatness never even existed. Greatness isn't something that needs to be seen or heard. In reality, our greatness is something we have all felt. Maybe our greatness wasn't the fact that we did something out of the ordinary or that we did something spectacular that's going to be remembered for years to come. But maybe it's simply because of the fact that since the beginning of our time here at San Ramon, we felt the need to represent ourselves in a way that proves we are great. We've all been able to start defining ourselves as individuals. Every downfall, every loss, every task we may have failed never stopped us from realizing the greater good of all situations. So even if we didn't win that Monobus game, even if the choir didn't hit the right note, we still would have managed to continue on because these past four years we've had pride representing ourselves as the great class of 2000. 2000, excuse me, the great class of 2013. You gotta say it all once or it doesn't work. <laughs> Representing ourselves as individuals, and most importantly, us as a whole. You see, our greatness is not what we've done or haven't done. It's not what we said or haven't said, but it's simply because of the fact that in every moment the past four years, we've not only lived it, but lived each moment within our own greatness. To the great graduating class, you have the world in your hands. Every chance is ready to be taken. Every opportunity is within reach. You don't have an obligation to do great things. Nobody is forcing you to change the world or do things bigger than yourselves. But no matter what you do or where you go, there's no need to fear the unknown because looking out onto my fellow wolves today in our sea of green cap and gowns on our graduation day, I see greatness, I feel greatness, and most importantly, I know greatness lies within all of our futures. To the great graduating class of 2013, I thank you. And most importantly, I love you, I care about you, and today, I mean it more than ever. I wish you all the best and a very happy graduation. Thank you. Send all my doubts and demons on their way. Every endeavor I have made, every
river is coming into play, is here and now, today, this is the moment, this is the time, and the momentum, and the moment of in rhyme, give me this moment, this precious I'll gather up my past and make sense at last. This is the moment when all I've done, all of the dreaming, scheming, and screaming becomes one. This is the day. Congratulations to a great class. When I received the invitation to speak at your graduation, a sentence in it read, thank you for being a guide and a mentor. So Stanley and I began thinking about our favorite guides and mentors. We would like to share three of them with you in the hopes that they will speak to you as well. The first is gravity. We encourage you to be like gravity. Gravity is fair, gravity is reliable, gravity is consistent, gravity remains. Gravity is neither seduced by beauty nor repelled by deformity. Gravity's laws apply to all without passion or prejudice favor or scorn. Gravity treats all life forms equally, without biological, ethnic, gender, racial, regional, or religious bias. Gravity never abandons, never deceives, never breaks a promise. Always trustworthy, gravity is respected. Stanley and I want you to flow like the rivers. Flow like rivers ever forward, sometimes with fearless abandon, other times with calm tranquility, but always towards your goals. Yes, a part of you may be trapped in a whirlpool of a difficult memory or under the ice of confining anxiety, but do not remain there. Be like the river, break through, keep moving. 
bravely approached the big falls, the sharp rocks, the deep canyons, moved down them and over them and through them with grace and confidence. Don't be afraid. Be like the river. Keep moving. Take time to relax in the serene, slow expanses of the deltas and the marshes and the estuaries. But then keep moving. Meet the sea with joy and gratefully move into it. Rest there before you begin anew. And finally, we want you to imagine like orchids. Orchids don't fear the crowded places. Orchids don't avoid the open spaces. Bright with color, orchids rise from strong roots, round with care and purpose among the rocks or the trees. On their long stems, orchids reach far from those nourishing roots, roots whose support is unfailing. Be like the orchid. Remember your roots, but don't fear growing away from them. Do not be afraid of that which is unknown, but blossom slowly into it. Bloom into all of your brilliance, color, texture, and unique shape with bold beauty like the orchid. Stanley and I would like you to be like gravity. We want you to flow like the rivers and imagine like the orchids. Thank you. So this is the moment that everybody has been waiting for. I would like to welcome up on stage Mary Shelton, our superintendent, and Greg Marvel, our board member, please, as they will be presenting diplomas to the great class of 2013. So as the principal of San Ramon Valley High School, I certify to you, Mary Shelton and Greg Marvel, that every one of these students have successfully met all the requirements of the Board of Education and the San Ramon Valley Unified School District. By the power vested in me as state law, by the Board of Education and the San Ramon Unified School District, it gives me great pleasure to present, front row, please rise, the graduating class of 2013. Your tassel should be on the right hand side of your hat. Please would you move them to the left and you are graduated.